So I'm really excited about what we're going to do today. Uh, we're we're going to be working on your eighth chakra. And a lot of people don't even know they have an eighth chakra because you hear so much about the seven primary chakras. And the, there's a lot more than seven. And the eighth, and there are other ones that are above your head. They're in your energy field, not in your body itself. And they have huge overarching impact on your life. And for spiritual guidance, for connecting with your life purposes, uh, for, for just knowing things, getting information, access to the Akashic Records, which is sometimes called the Cosmic Library, um, connection to your soul and your spirituality and higher uh, dimensions. Uh, the Eighth Energy Center affects all of that really, really heavily. So, um, so I'm really looking forward to today. Let me just, I don't know why the camera keeps doing that. Give me one more chance with that, and then I give up. For some reason, it's not letting the uh, brightness control work, but it doesn't really matter. I can be a man of mystery, and you can imagine I'm in a cave somewhere. Um, so everybody take a couple easy deep breaths. And just a warning before we get started, um, I'm going to start bringing in the energy really quickly, and whether or not you believe that's real, don't drive and listen to this, even on a recording. And for some people, they go, oh, it's just a recording. The, as you listen to the recording, you will reconnect with the energies. And if you're listening live, you'll connect with the energies. And uh, that's not the way you want to be when you're driving. When you're driving, you want to be externally focused. The energies that are starting to run will get you to be internally focused. So, you know, if you're driving and, and listening to this, hopefully not watching it, but listening to this, then turn it off. It, it'll be on the Facebook page. You can listen to it some other time. Uh, and for all of you, it will be on this page. And you may want to listen to it again in a few days or a week and take it even further. So uh, let's see, just a couple of things. Um, I, I want to jump into the energy work pre pretty quickly, but at the same time, some people are new. So I'm Art Geyser. I'm the creator of Energetic NLP. And I don't know if you can read this today. Yep. Um, Energetic NLP combines spiritual principles, transformative energy work, intuition development, along with NLP, neuro linguistic programming, which is a very powerful uh, system for personal and spiritual development. And I've been a trainer in that field since 1985. And, I can, and I've had a lot of incredible teachers um, in energy work and spirituality. I've had two empowerments from the Dalai Lama, uh, one on, on using healing energies and the other on enlightenment. Still working on that enlightenment one. And so I combine the power of NLP with spiritual principles and energetic work. And there's a term we use in uh, energetic NLP, which I just want you to be aware of. It's called whole being permission. And a lot of you have heard of, of the secret and just focus on what you want, visualize what you want. And you probably notice sometimes that works really well and sometimes it doesn't work at all, or you even get the opposite effects. And when I was looking at this many years ago, I realized the different aspects of a person weren't always aligned. So they may consciously want something, or they may want two or three different things consciously. You know what that's like when you, you want different opposing things. Their unconscious mind may want something completely different because of the unconscious programming you have. But there's also energetic programming in your energy field. And a lot of that is ancestral, but it's also coming from uh, every part of this life. And it can even come in from, uh, from before this life. You also have what are called spiritual contracts, which are agreements that were made on the level of your spirit or soul. And you have karma. And, and there are other factors too. If all of those aren't lined up, then you know, no matter how much you visualize what you want and actually put effort into it when that's called upon, um, you know, you'll, you'll often find it won't work because some aspect of you is trying to create something different. So it's just something I like people to, to be really aware of. And in energetic NLP, it's something we go into in a great deal of depth. But for right now, I just found that so many people aren't aware of, of it. And we call it whole being permission. So for what you want to manifest in your life, is your spirit giving permission? Is your soul giving permission? Is your conscious mind, your unconscious mind, your body giving permission? Will your karma allow it? 
and um, you have spiritual contracts that create cages and won't allow it. And the good news is all of that is changeable. And what we're doing today, working on the Eighth Energy Center, is a great step in the direction of having whole being permission, because it, it allow you to get a more of a connection with your own soul, to get more um, direct knowledge and information. So in, in the energetic NLP programs, I teach people how to develop their, their abilities to work with energy. And, and by the way, everybody can do it. It's not like some special gift a few people um, uh, can have and the rest of people can't. Everybody can do it. You know, if it, it's not everybody's path or interest, but if it interests you, you can do it. And if you're already doing it, you know, it, it, there's endless levels you can take it to. I mean, I've been doing it 33 plus years and just every day it's like, there's like new ahas, I mean, literally, um, which is a great deal of fun. Um, and so this is something yeah, everybody can do. And as you open up your eighth, you, you open up more possibilities for that. And I, I went up here because the eighth is above your head. Um, or at least you can think of it that way. It, your eighth chakra energy center, it's very multidimensional and it isn't exactly in one place, but it, it, it's helpful to think of it being up here and a lot of it presents itself up here. And our goal today is to increase the connections that you have with it. So you're getting more of this pure information. And uh, I didn't complete the thought before. So as you develop your intuition, your ability to read people's energy fields, there's also something called knowing. And a lot of that comes from the eighth. Um, that's where it comes in and comes down into you. And, and knowing isn't so much that you're reading somebody's energy consciously or unconsciously. It's just the information's there. You, know, you get it from um, uh, higher sources, if you will, including your own spirit. You know, it's just boom. You know what to do. You know not what not to do, things like that. So, um, so I'm really excited that we're working on this today. And one other concept I want to introduce is, and this is not your high self. It's not, if you haven't studied energetic NLP, it's a different concept than you're used to. So let it be its own thing. Um, and it's your miraculous self, your miraculous self. I have another little sign, hopefully you can see it. And your miraculous self is when your inner wisdom, which is human, and your spirit, which is your vaster self, are aligned in guiding you and supporting you in living a more miraculous life. And the goals in, in energetic NLP in our programs are that people lead more and more miraculous lives. So again, your miraculous self is when your inner wisdom and your spirit are aligned in guiding you and supporting you and helping you to manifest your authentic heart's desires. And it's something that exists to some extent in most people, but it's kind of like a, a muscle people, most people have rarely, if ever used. And the more you work with it, you develop it, you make it stronger. And sometimes people confuse it with your high self. Your high self is a wonderful concept. It's something different. And your high self is not something you have to develop. Your high self exists. So um, um, in energetic NLP, you always put your miraculous self in charge of what happens for you. Your miraculous self will decide what needs to be cleared, what needs to be healed, what to open up, what, what abilities to enhance in you. And so the ways to get the most out of this, or the ways to, to, to defeat what we're doing is to, in your mind, go, I know how this is supposed to work. And there's a lot of people on this call who are very uh, great energy workers. But when you're, whenever you're doing it, it's like, I studied at a place called the Sclepian once in Northern California, just north of San Francisco. And when I started studying there, the a man named John Fulton, who is since deceased, an amazing, amazing person. And um, it could be annoying, but amazing. And he interviewed me ahead of time and he, and he was reading my energy and he goes, well, why do you want to study here? You're already really good. And I, I went, well, I want to learn and get good at what you do, because what you do is different than what I do. And I go, so when I walk in the door, I'm leaving outside the door what I think I already know and how I think things should work. When I'm in here, I, I'm, I'm going to immerse myself in what, what you do, because that's what I want to learn. And, um, and he went, he goes, he goes, I like that, because that'll work. And um, what was funny is in one of the first classes we divided up and 
this man named Michael, who was very psychic, and he didn't know anything about this. And um, it was my, it, uh, it was several classes in, and um, we'd been working on one another. And he's reading my energy, and he goes, "I don't know why you you turn off what you do when you when you're here. What you do is really great, and why do you turn it off when you're here?" And I, and I laughed, and I went, "Well, I'm, I, I go, that's deliberate. Thank you." And you know, I'm I'm here to go beginner's mind. So again, there's a a lot of you have a lot of experience. You get more out of this if you go beginner's mind, let go of expectations, and the more playful you are. So energetic NLP is a spiritual de personal development system where we believe the more amused we are, the more playful we are, the more we explore and have fun with things. So it's like this is the anti-perfectionism work. You know, the more you let go of all that and you just let yourself have whatever experience you're having without judging it, just notice it. A lot of you know the term mindfulness. Just notice it. The more you're playful and are mindful, uh, the more rapidly you'll develop and the more fun you'll have getting there. The, the first times I taught energetic NLP, I could get really serious with people about it. And, and then one day it just, again, it came in from my eighth. It, it just was really presented to me like, uh, and people talked to me about uh, being more playful, but it really came in. I really got it like, oh, that's the secret here. It's just be playful. And as soon as I started doing that with people, their ability to do things like you know what what took them three days before they could do in a day so everybody take an easy deep breath and relax and i'll just mention before you all get spacey because you may get a little spacey because the eighth energy center is a very high frequency energy um and if you get spacey that's fine we'll, we'll ground you before we're over um I have a very special, um, I only do it once a year, three-day energetic NLP program called Discover Your Miraculous Abilities. It's May 4th, 5th, and 6th. I know that's coming up real soon. And um, there's a special super duper early bird rate, which ends in a few days. And there's a link uh, in the post. And if not, I'll add it later. And if you go to that, it will give you all the information about it. And um, if it resonates with you, I'd love to have you come. We uh, the one we did last year, uh, well, there's the several people uh, on, on this call who were there last year, and, um, um, and, and people really had amazing results, and it's going to be way better this year. Um, so, again, I just want to mention that to you before the energy comes in. So take an easy, deep breath, and just, you have a right as a conscious being to make choices and decisions in your life. So just take an easy, deep breath. And affirm that you're putting your miraculous self, your inner wisdom and spirit in charge of what's about to happen, or what's starting to happen right now. My job is to get the energy flowing, which again is something, I mean, he says modestly, yes, I'm very good at it. Anybody can learn to do it. It's again, it's I, everybody in my programs learns to do it. Um, some of them have trouble admitting how good they are, but everybody learns to do it. So my job is to bring in this symphony of energies your inner wisdom and spirit will decide what to do with those energies. So don't try to consciously control it. Take a couple easy, deep breaths. And just set your intention, if you want to, that what we're doing now is going to wonderfully enhance. It's going to clear. It's going to heal. It's going to enhance that, enhance that eighth energy center above your head. And it's going to enhance your ability to connect with it, your, your ability to... Um, to connect with it in your crown, in your head, in your consciousness, in your unconscious mind, in your heart, in your guts, in your entire body, that your ability to connect with this eighth energy center and to get this pure information and guidance and energy in, in this connection to the higher realms. So if you want that, you don't have to repeat all that. You can just go yes to what Art said. That's what I want. And then we always add, or better. I want that, or better, giving your miraculous self permission to, to, do, to do something even better than what I'm suggesting. Take an easy, deep breath, and the energy is going to start really flowing. And you, you can pay attention to what I'm saying or not. It, it's on the recording. You can hear it later. It doesn't matter whether you feel the energy or not. 
a lot of the energies we're using right now are very high frequency. So even if you do a lot of energy work, you may or may not notice them. You just might not have attuned to them. So if you feel them, that's fine. If you don't feel them, also fine. If you feel energized, that's fine. If you start feeling sleepy, that's fine. Because a lot of you will go into a bit of an altered state. And you may even at the end of this go, I don't remember anything Art said. But again, it's recorded. It'll be on the Facebook uh, page, so you can listen to it later. So just let yourself have whatever experience you're having. If you're having profound thoughts and seeing neon angels, that's, that's fine. If you're having the most mundane, silly thoughts in the world, that's also totally fine. The only thing, it's only if you worry about that or judge it will it get in the way. There you go. Just keep putting your miraculous self in charge. And know that while we're working on the eighth energy center, your whole energy system is just that. It's a system. Everything's interconnected. So the energy might be working in your heart or your throat or your feet. It can work all over your body and energy field to open up that connection to your eighth energy center, open up to that guidance and knowledge, that support and energy to clear your eighth, heal your eighth, because chakras can get quite beat up and to really enhance it. Easy deep breaths. And affirm that you're giving your miraculous self permission to be in charge. Just lightly, just keep affirming that. a couple easy deep breaths really relax hmm. If you find yourself getting serious, say hello to your playful inner child. In energetic NLP, we, we really are big on connecting more and more with spiritual joy. You know, and that can be quite a challenge, but to have that more and more, the goal is to have it part of the foundation of our being. And I know this won't mean anything to most of you. It's not supposed to, but to my old sailing buddy, glad you could make it on the call, sending you some extra special healing now.
and easy deep breaths. If you get serious, then just put a smile on your face. Confuses your brain, makes it lighten up. It goes, oh, I'm smiling. Relax tension in your jaw and shoulders. Tension in your low back. Relax your knees and your feet. Relax your hands. It's amazing how often we're clenching our hands. And since we're working with a lot of high frequency energies, some of you are getting a little overloaded. So we're, we're bringing in something uh, energetic NLP. And there's a whole story behind it. We call it Egyptian uncooking energies. Um, it's an energy some of us uh, in one of the energetic NLP classes uh, connected with at um, a rare Egyptian exhibit at the British Museum years ago. An exhibit of the Book of the Dead scrolls and one of them really had this energy so we connected with it. And it helps just sort of uncook you we call it, like just bring in real settling energies. We're also bringing in energies to help you process and integrate what's happening. Ah, easy deep breaths. And when you finish an energetic NLP process, it's not finished. You'll be processing what we're doing here for days, at least, maybe weeks. That's a good thing. Okay. Bringing more energies to help you process and integrate it. From the heart of the earth, imagine a tube of energy, column of energy, a meter, a few feet wide, is coming up from the heart of the earth, and it comes up near the base of your spine, near the base of your spine. And give it permission to ground only your authentic energy into your body. So there's a lot of different energies in your energy field. Give the earth permission to only ground your authentic essence and energy into your body. And a fun way to imagine that is you can imagine there's a point of light in your energy field for every cell in your body, a point of light in your energy field for every cell in your body. And when the earth grounds you, every point of light just goes pop, pop and it pops into the cell it belongs in. And give the earth permission through that column of energy to gently pull out of your body and energy field any energies that your miraculous self wants you to release right now. So just any energies it wants you to release, let the earth gently and powerfully pull them out. If there's any tug of war, leave those energies alone. Just the energy, there's a whole other process that you do with that, but just the energies that go off easily. And while the energies are being pulled off, energies are also coming up from the earth. And those real mother nature, mother earth energies, energies that love you, support you, accept you, help you manifest, heal you, nurture you. And again, just let your miraculous self be in charge of those energies coming up into you. Just a nice gentle flow. Nice gentle flow up and a release down. 
And whenever you change your energy field, it can throw other people off because even when it's a very po positive change, unconsciously they sense something's different. And animals, pets will often notice uh, things are, are different. Um, and we found the way to take care of that is you send out a spiritual email. So just ask your miraculous self now to send out spiritual emails to everybody in your life, including your, your homes and your plants and your pets. Um, people you work with, family, loved ones, friends, everybody. They're just getting little spiritual emails. And it's like you've changed your email address. It's just saying, this is my new energy address, so you recognize it. And if you want to connect with me energetically, this is where you'll find me. I'm not at that old address anymore. So just let your miraculous self take care of that. And then... I'm going to ask your miraculous self and your unconscious mind to do something tonight when you're sleeping. So if you want this tonight and for the next three nights, tonight and for the next three nights, your miraculous self and your unconscious mind will review what we did in this session. And during that review, your miraculous self and your unconscious mind will infuse you with your inner wisdom will infuse you with your spiritual information. It will take what we've done, it will make it richer, make it deeper, wider, higher, make it more multidimensional, and most importantly, automatically integrated into your life. So that while you sleep soundly and deeply and wake up in the morning refreshed, just a portion of the time when you're sleeping, your miraculous self and your unconscious mind will take what we've done in this session and keep enhancing it and keep making it better and more customized just for you. Now we're gonna bring in energies that are sparkling, energies to help you get more alert and awake. It really helps to stomp your feet, pat your body. Set your intention now. If you're doing anything after the session, it requires safety, especially something like driving or walking where there's a lot of traffic or and, you know, cooking, anything that needs your attention. Um, just right now, set your intention that your miraculous self and your unconscious mind will make sure you're grounded, safe, and alert. We'll make sure you're grounded, safe, and alert. And then whenever it's appropriate tonight, it'll turn up the processing. Not enough to throw you off, but just turn it up to a nice level for you. So, and again, your, your unconscious mind and your miraculous self can do that automatically. And if there's any space that was created that's empty now in your energy field from the clearing, let's ask your miraculous self and your inner wisdom to pull in earth and universal energies and more of your authentic essence and more of your authentic essence. And again, your miraculous self will figure this out. Pull it in and fill your entire body and energy field because you don't want to leave any empty spaces. So again, stomp your feet, pat your body. Uh, it helps to look around and really look at visual details that will help ground you and get your back and your body what what are really tiny things you can notice in terms of color and texture and shape and the same with what you hear like really tune into what you can hear right now and tune in to your body how it feels like if you're sitting in a chair or lying down or however you are just notice what you can feel wiggle your toes and fingers and even like touch all your fingers, all of that will help ground you and bring you back into your body. Um, so a, a couple of things, and, and then we'll finish up. I do these calls every Thursday, and there may be a couple of Thursdays where I, I won't be able to do it because of traveling, but I'll put that on the, on the page at least the day before. Um, uh, it's a huge favor to me and to other people if you invite them to join us, and they can join us live, which is great. And, um, and, and probably a little better, but the recordings are very, very effective too. And um, Facebook uh, really loves it if you comment and you know the, the little hearts and the likes and all that, but especially if you comment. And what happens if you do that, Facebook will show um, this to more people. What they do is they go, if people are commenting, they're interested there, they find it uh, engaging and valuable. And then they 
they look for other people that are interested in energy work and spirituality and personal development and will we'll show it more to them. So that would be a great favor to me and, and to those people. Um, also, uh, check your emails and, and, and also this Facebook page. I'm going to be doing a number of webinars over the next few days, the next week or two. Um, so watch the space. I'll probably even do one tonight. It will be too late for those of you in the UK. It, it'd be more like around 6.30 p.m. in California, 9.30 p.m. in the East Coast, which isn't too bad because then you can just go to sleep at the end. So, uh, so uh, watch. Uh, I'll, I'll do a post here and or, and or you'll get an email. Uh, but there'll be several. I may do one Saturday. Uh, definitely be doing one uh, next Monday. I guess it would help if you're watching this later. Uh, I'm saying this on Thursday, April 18th. So, uh, so you know what I'm talking about. And we'll be doing different topics. There are going to be some really, um, uh, I, I think, very, very life-changing webinars. So I'm honored and thrilled that you joined me. For those of you that came late, I, I do. Part of me just really wants to say, I spent a freaking half hour getting the lighting right. And then as soon as I started the Facebook <laughs> Live, I got completely dark. So, oh, well. Um, as I said earlier, I think I'm supposed to be the man of mystery today, and you can enjoy the, the hillsides. And sorry about the wood and stuff around. There's a, a lot of construction. I, in fact, the only reason I can be outside today is the guys remodeling my house needed some um, uh, uh, stuff to, for the the new bathrooms and stuff. So, uh, so we got a little break, so I thought I'd come out here. Well, thank you. I so appreciate you for taking the time to do this. It's such an honor. And um hope to speak to you next week and, and that on the webinars oh one last thing it um i, I will mention again the uh, fourth fifth sixth of may the once a year discover your miraculous abilities program um the link is either in the main post or i'll put it in again in a minute um there's a super duper early bird discount right now it's going to be a amazing three days he says <laughs> humbly uh, i really hope you can make it so bye and thanks.